For question 24, we are told that we have a potential divider that has a constant supply of 6 volts as shown in the diagrams and we are asked which circuit will provide a potential difference between X and Y that can be varied between 0 and 3 volts. Now, um, the first thing that I'm going to rule out uh, is going to be uh, those answers where X and Y just have a fixed uh, position. So immediately, I can rule out C and D. Now, if we measure the potential difference between X and Y, okay, you can see that we are always going to get 6 volts for C. And if we measure the PD between uh, X and Y, okay, in this case, when the, the junction over here is at uh, this position, when it's at Y, okay, you can see that this resistor is short-circuited. So the max... Uh, voltage that we can read off across y x or x y is already going to be 6 volts so this is not going to be our answer because we want max voltage of 3 now uh the next uh possible uh one that we can rule out is going to be uh a the reason is because we are going to assume that uh, the, the, the junction over here is only able to move across this particular resistor, okay? So if Y is all the way at this end of R, we can see that we are measuring the potential differences of both uh, resistors, which is going to be 6 volts as well. So immediately we can rule out A. Now, what about B? Okay, uh, if the junction of X is at this position, we can see very clearly that uh, we are reading 3 volts, or rather 3 volts is distributed through to, to both resistors of capital R. Okay, So if uh, the junction of X is at one end of R and Y is at the other end of R, obviously we're going to read off 3 volts, Okay, which is the potential difference of this resistor over here. So our answer is B.